How's it going? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials, an Absinthe 5 tutorial today. Uh, I've made, during one of my streams, I made three pads, all the same sort of thing, sort of sequence pads split, like one sound doing a sort of plucky sound behind the actual base of the pad. This is the Absinthe one that I'm going to be going over today. Got a delay on the master, I've just turned that off so you can hear it on its own. There you go, lovely, rich, warm sounding pad with like a nice little plucky rhythm behind it. Um, this was made during one of my streams. I'll just say quickly if you want to join in on the streams and watch me while I'm working, we can have a chat as well. Um, you need, really need to subscribe to my Facebook or Google Plus pages. That is Sound Design Tutorials, or tweet. My Twitter account is at Sound Design Tuts. That's the only way you're going to find out when I'm doing these streams. I also stream on Twitch occasionally. A link to my Twitch account will be in the uh, description at the bottom as well. That again is Sound Design Tutorials, all one word. So yeah, for now we are going to go ahead and create a new sound. I'll talk you through how I made this patch. There's three real basic waveforms. Oscillator 1 is a single saw filter 1. Uh, didn't do anything with the unison, just keep it how it comes as standard. Um, on the main page, I pitched it up at 2 octaves plus 24. Set the phase to free. Don't really need to do that because we're uh, not using any unison. We'll set the envelope up for oscillator A. No, we won't because this is the one that I do the uh, crazy stuff with. So we'll turn this oscillator off for now. Oscillator B is a single sine wave, how it comes as standard. This is transposed up one octave as well, plus 12. Apply the filter to this standard low pass 2 filter. Pull the cutoff down to around 880 Hz. Just getting rid of the real high frequencies for this part of the sound. Oscillator C is another basic waveform again. This is a double saw reel. I think I did use some unison for this one. Yep, for this one I use eight voices of unison. Transpose to 0.025, so it's like a quarter of a cent, a very small amount. You need to set the phase to three for this one, otherwise you're going to have that sort of real drifty sound. Pitch this one up one octave as well. Square reel, when on a saw reel. A low pass filter for this as well. Um, it's not needed because I didn't do anything with it unless I applied feedback. No. So, no filter for this one. the main bulk of the pad done we're going to set these two amp envelopes up they're a nice long sort of sweeping attack I'm going to pull the attack just before 1.5 and make it quite a steady constant increase for both a for both B and C are the same the volume is going to increase gradually pull the decay sustain level out to two and a half and the release out uh, in between three and a half and four. So the notes tail off also. You need to set both of these amps to release mode so that the release is engaged. When 
it's in release mode, it bypasses the sustain length. The um, it's hard to explain. Um, it's going to follow this amp totally. Whether you hold the note down for as long as you can, this time from left to right is going to control the whole thing of the envelope. The envelope. So if you want the notes to hold on for longer, you need to pull the sustain level out. It's straightforward when you get used to it. Bear in mind, I've got the BPM set at 140, and these chords are lasting two bars. Okay, that's it for the basic. That's to say, that forms the main bed of the sound. I didn't use any effects within Absinthe. I find them lacking, if I'm honest. As I say, there was just this simple delay. One set to two, one set to four. Feedback, same amount. Quite a lot of width, and a mix at about 34%. Just helps smudge the chords together as it progresses through. Uh, I, I normally use a delay on a pad. Okay, we're going to solo oscillator A now. I'm going to talk about how we're going to get that sort of plucky rhythm. First of all, we're going to apply filter to this. We're going to pull this down to 1732, I add. 1732 hertz. So we're just getting up rid of the real high zingy part of the filter, the saw wave sound. Okay, and now we're going to do the uh, pluck with this, is we're going to modulate that amp oscillator A amp envelope. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to choose an envelope template. We want a rhythmic 16th. That now gives us quarter notes. You can see exactly what it's doing. It's snapping the amp open and close. Um, the amp amount. Um, when you assign an, an envelope to anything, like if I was to assign an envelope to this filter, whatever you have the filter set at, that is the maximum like at peak that your envelope is going to peak at. So because I've got the amp all the way open at 0 decibels, these top points are fully open. The bottom is fully shut. So it's opening and closing the amp. I hope you get the gist of that. Um, so yeah, we need to set the grid is set to sixteenths, and uh, this is all I did. I just played with these. I normally just drag them out, so I've got a bit more room to work. And then just get going, creating the sort of any sort of shape that you want, really, just to give you the rhythm that you want. uncheck the grid so we can do it a bit more fluid you can make it sound like there's a bit of a delay going on by decreasing turn the delay off You can look, sort of create your own delays on here by decreasing the volume of these plucks as it runs for a, for a cycle. You have to bear with me while I build it. I'm going to try and do it exactly how I had it for you. It does take me a just take you a little while when you're doing this. Fuck it. When you change when you take the grid off it keeps changing the the scale of what's going on.
Okay, so that took so long as so saying when you're doing it on the fly, it's a lot easier because you just sort of listen to the rhythm. But I want to try and show you exactly how I had it. I'll uh, save this template. I'll save this uh, envelope. If you want it, you can ask me and I'll send it to you in an email. It's a useful little rhythm. And the way you do that is you save envelope template. Template name. Sequenced pad. I should be able to send you that through an email if you need it, if you're recreating this exactly. So yeah, we've got that nice plucky rhythm now. Um, we'll bring the pad in behind it. Introduce the delay. There you go, lovely warm pad with like a sequenced pluck behind it. Um, real straightforward oscillators, so all the work is done by that crazy amp envelope. So you can do what you want, you can set the grid to 1 over 8, drag these out, make, make exactly any shape you want really. Some of the slower sequences work really nice. Um, as I say, I had it, the speed was 140 on this one. Works well with the delay on the master channel. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this. Loads more tutorials and streams to come. Channel's really on the up and up now. I passed a thousand subscribers on Wednesday. I'm on 1100 already, I think. it's We're going up exponentially now, so fingers crossed. Doors will start opening for me. I can start doing this more of a permanent thing rather than just in my spare time. But yeah, sound design tutorials. Check me out, Facebook and Google+. Hear about my new streaming. Thanks for watching. Cheers.